In this video, I'm going to explain the smart contract code of CryptoPunks. CryptoPunks is a very popular NFT collection with the top CryptoPunks selling for more than $11 million. CryptoPunks had a lot of influence on NFTs and if you want to get in the space, you should know about CryptoPunks. If you are new here, I'm Julian and at Indoblox, I help Web2 developers transition into Web3. CryptoPunks was released in 2017 by Lava Labs. When it was first released, nobody thought much about it and it was only much later that it became popular. This is the smart contract of CryptoPunks in Solidity. You can see that this is an older version of Solidity. The smart contract has three functionalities. It manages ownership and transfers of CryptoPunks. It has an airdrop feature and it has a marketplace for CryptoPunks. Technically, CryptoPunks doesn't respect any known standard, but it was the inspiration for ERC721, the standard for NFTs. The image of CryptoPunks is stored outside of the blockchain. This is the hash of the image containing all CryptoPunks. You can use it to make sure that the image of your CryptoPunk has not been altered. This mapping records ownership of CryptoPunks, and this one records the total number of CryptoPunks owned per address. This is the constructor of the contract, only executed once during deployment, and inside we initialize important variables like the owner of the contract. These three functions are used to do the initial assignment of each CryptoPunk to the owner of the contract. This function is for the initial airdrop of CryptoPunks in 2017. At that time, it was free to claim a CryptoPunk. This function is to transfer a CryptoPunk to another address without any payment. These two functions are to allow a CryptoPunk owner to put his or her CryptoPunk for sale at a specific price. This function is to allow buyers to buy a CryptoPunk. The payment is in Ether. This function is for buyers to get their Ether back if their bid was not successful. Which leads us to the bidding system, the second way to buy a CryptoPunk. With this function, a buyer can place a bid for any CryptoPunk. And with this function, a CryptoPunk owner can accept any bid. And finally, this function allows a buyer to withdraw his or her bid. So that's it for this walkthrough of the code of CryptoPunks. It's important to understand that it's an old smart contract and nowadays we wouldn't put so many functionalities in the same contract. Especially for modern NFT projects, the NFT ownership is managed in its own contract following the ERC721 standard. And next, you can watch this video to learn the ERC721 standard. I will see you there.